And let's it go. No, it didn't kill him. Leave me alone. I'm gonna get a carrot. I love carrots. You're dead. Uh, you're dead too. Dig dug. I've dug. I've digged. I've dig dugged. Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and today we'll be checking out the Namco Museum that just released on the Nintendo Switch. Huge shout out to Bandai Namco for sending us a copy of the game to check out. So we're taking a look at all the different games that are in here. We got Rolling Thunder 2, Pac-Man vs. Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, The Tower of Druga, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that, Sky Kid, Rolling Thunder, Galaga 88, Splatterhouse, one of my favorite games. Tank Force, Rolling Thunder 2. I think we covered them all. I think we started with Rolling Thunder 2. Let's go ahead and check out a game. Let's start with something classic like Pac-Man and see what kind of options and stuff we have here. I think the major selling point to this game will be the handheld mode, because it'll be really fun. Set up the Switch somewhere, take a couple Joy-Cons and play some games with your buddies. I love retro games, so I, I really like the idea of this being on the Switch now. And apparently Mark is playing Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 is awesome. Good choice, Mark. Alright, we're heading up here. The pellets. Drop down here. Going pretty well. I think we'll just try to beat this first stage. We'll move on to another game. Not doing too bad so far, though. We got that ghost. We missed him, actually. Spoke too soon. New. No. Okay, we chanced that. We're gonna have to get a little lucky here. Oh my god. Give me the pellet. Give me the pellet. Sorry, ghosty. And... Finished level. Beautiful job, Pac-Man. Sweet! Pac-Man was very fun. I used the analog stick. It felt really good. Let's switch up the game. Alright, let's try some Galaga. Alright, I love the background for this game. It looks really cool. We're gonna try to beat the first level. We have auto fire or fire missiles. So, let's just do auto fire to begin with. I think we're doing pretty good here. Objects to get these guys dead as quickly as possible, otherwise they'll start flying down and shooting at us. Like that, and that's when things will get kind of hairy. Nope, don't kill me. Don't you kill me. Don't you kill me. Beautiful. It's been a while since I played Galaga. I'm not great at it. We got it, though. Nice! Stage one is cleared. Let's move on. Next up, we're going to check out Dig Dug. And once again, you got normal or challenge mode. We'll do normal mode. All right, Dig Dug, it's been a while. We meet again. Let's do this. We got this, little Dig Dug action. Never hurt anybody? I like how the music only plays. Oh, crap. I think the D-pad might work a little bit better for uh, Dig Dug. Okay, we got one guy knocked out. Let's go for this dragon. Dragon's dead. No! All right. They got me once. Like I said, it's been a while. We got this. The okay, D-pad doesn't work great either on this. And let's it go. No, it didn't kill him. Leave me alone. I'm gonna get a carrot. I love carrots. You're dead. Uh, you're dead too. Dig dug. I've dug. I've digged. I've dig dugged. We're gonna do the Tower of Druga. I'm gonna pronounce it that way because I'm not really sure how. I like this little comic book background. This is cool. I've never played this game, so I don't know what to expect on this one. Get ready, player one. We have hints or use sword. Let's use our sword. Okay, there's little uh, blobs. There's a door. I think we need to find a key to get out of here. Am I really attacking? How do you... Is that how you attack? I'm missing something here. 
There's the key. Okay, we just gotta get to the key. Oh, you hold A to hold your sword out. It all makes sense now. Ugh. And then you kill stuff. Ugh. 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 I'm killing everything. Ugh. You're dead. We got the key. Let's go see what's in this chest down here. How do I get to it? Can I get to it? Should we explore? Looks like I missed my chest opportunity. We can go back there later. Is there any reason not to hold your sword out the entire time? Let's kill everything. I'm going down, blobs. Eee. I'm not really surprised I never played this. It's so slow. Ugh. Oh my god. I can't see myself playing this game again. This must just be a game you had to grow up with. Have that nostalgia, you know? Kind of pumping through your veins. For me, it just seems very sluggish. Ugh. Nice. Level one completed. Let's move on. Okay. Sky Kid. Normal mode. Let's do this. Bomb this target. That is something I can do. Shoot, loop, or auto fire. Shoot. Loop. Auto fire. Is there any reason not to auto fire? Ooh, Sky Kid's pretty cool. Loop. Can you loop an auto fire? You can. You can f I like auto fire, but oh, that's what I wanted. Land here. We gotta land. Oh, this is fun. Sky Kid, nice. I like that. Oh, and I got some girls dancing for me at the end. Sky Kid seems fun. Rolling Thunder. Let's check this out. We actually did a playthrough of this game, the NES version, not that long ago on the channel. We got jump and shoot. Oh, this is cool because the version on Nintendo, you know, the graphics are a bit different. This looks a little more arcadey, you know, this is definitely like the arcade version. Oh yeah, and he jumps over the railing. This is cool. You can hide in the doors. Okay, so the NES version's decent. I mean it's it didn't have fans and stuff. This is kinda cool to see after playing the NES version for sure. Okay. This is cool. I like this. Now on the uh, NES version, there was some doors you could go in to get items and stuff. I don't know if that's how this one... I imagine it's the same. Shoot, shoot, duck. Shoot, shoot. Yeah. Ooh, we're out of bullets. That's not good. Okay. We got... Ooh. Ooh, yeah, machine gun bullets. Yeah, how you like that? How you like that rolling thunder? No! It actually seems easier than the uh, NES version. The NES version, it's really easy to die. Jump up. Shoot all you guys. More bullets. Don't mind if I... Don't do it! You killed me! Galaga88. Starting it up. With normal mode. Ooh, this screen's super tiny. Super tiny. Insert a coin. Start it up. Duel one remain, two remain. Select your ship using the lever. We'll do duel, I guess. Cool, Galaga two. Love this background. That little dude on the right looks really cool. Auto fire. I don't really see a reason not to do auto fire. It seems a little easier. Ooh, a little tricky. I like the dual shooting here. It's pretty cool. Graphics are a little step up. I like these upgraded graphics. It looks really neat. Noise. Ooh, okay. Nice try. You're dead. Enjoy that. And level one in the books. Cool. I like it. I like it. Let's move on. The whole point of this video is just to try out all the different games. See what they got to offer. Splatterhouse. It's going to be hard to only do one level. Love Splatterhouse. This is one of my favorites. This is a game that I really, really like. The first Splatterhouse I played was Splatterhouse 2. I went to the local game store and video store and I rented this game just because I love the box art. Kind of reminded me of Jason Voorhees and it looked really gory and I've always liked horror movies and stuff, even as a kid, so 
Once I got Splatterhouse 2 home, I just fell in love with it. I thought it was really tough, but just really fun. And it's, you know, it's basically a side scroll and beat em up. And it's, you know, very 2D. You can't go up and down or anything like that. I mean, you basically can go left or right, and that's it. But I love the backgrounds and stuff, and Splatterhouse 1 is a lot like Splatterhouse 2. So pretty much what you see here, second game is a lot like this. And even the third one's really good. I don't have this on the TurboGrafx-16. I wish I did. Jump over you. Let's get this. We should be able to splat him against the wall. That's so cool. Just really ahead of its time, in my opinion. You didn't see a lot of games like this. Oh, crap. Oh, we died. That's okay, though. We get to check out a little Splatterhouse. This is a game I'd definitely like to do a playthrough of at some point. We got Tank Force. We're going to start Tank Force up. Let's do it. Time for the big guns. Deploy the special forces and commence attack. Whatever you say. Shoot or auto fire. Ooh, this looks pretty cool. I think I'm just going to regular shoot. Ooh, so you can blow up the buildings too. That's kind of cool. You can get power ups. I'm not sure what that does. Ooh, is that a better gun? Oh, I like this already. Kind of reminds me of Bomberman a little bit. Warning. What's the warning all about? Woo! Okay, well, we just got blown up. Fair enough. Yep, we lost our upgrades. Cool! Yeah, I like the looking for upgrades. Nice. Nice. Let's get this tank over here. He dead. What's that? Some points. We got one left. And round clear. Ooh, I'd love to play some more of this. I'm not familiar with the game, but it seems really fun. We got first place. It looks like you can pick up little upgrades. Definitely excited to play some more of that. That was really fun. All right, Rolling Thunder 2. I've never played this. I'm excited to check it out. I did enjoy the one on NES, as I was saying before. And the, uh, the little background screen on this one's a little risque. We got a woman painted over there on the right. That's pretty crazy. All right, let's start it up. Ooh, we're a girl now. Cool. We can jump and shoot just like the original game. Whoa! And well, apparently things go driving by. And drop off baddies. Steps to beach. Okay, so there's a sign letting me know where the steps to the beach are. That's that's always nice in case you want to go out to the beach. It is shark week. You can go on a little shark hunt. Uh, let's jump down here. Shoot you. Nice try, loser. You lose. Arms. Kind of convenient in these uh, Rolling Thunder games, there's always like doors marked like, hey, there's guns in here. Don't mind if I do. We have guns now. And this is a lot better than the gun we had. I like it. You dead? Uh, you can't jump and shoot. You can jump then shoot. Shoot you in your legs. Jump in these little thingies. Jump in these little thingies. Shoot you in the back. Well, what's going on? There's a guy in here with me? Why is there a guy in here with me? What is going on? Okay, that was glitchy. What was he doing to me? Jerk. No way to treat a lady. Oh, and now I got shot in the ankle and I'm dead. Nice. Rolling Thunder 2. And finally, we have Pac-Man versus. All right. Pac-Man versus. Let's do this. All right. How do we want to play? Single console, one or three players. One player. Aim for 7,000 points. Original Pac-Man. Okay, so the object is to get Pac-Man. The tables have turned, Pac-Man. The tables have turned. And... Where is Pac-Man? Pac-Man, hello. There he is. He's not trying to kill me. Honestly, this game, eh, I think it's going to be a lot more fun to play with multiple people. Playing by yourself, you're just going to be looking for Pac-Man for quite a while. Alright guys, that's going to conclude this look at the Namco Museum.
Let me know if there's any games in this you'd like to see me play more of in the future. I definitely think this is a great game you should check out if you do like old school arcade games. Especially with the Switch's portability, it'll be really fun to take your Switch over to a buddy's house, pop it up on a table, hand out some Joy-Cons, and play some games together. Let me know what you think of Namco Museum on the Nintendo Switch in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Over to the left is a couple other videos from BTG you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.